Hey guys, I want you to uh, relax, maybe uh, dim the lights, light a few candles, preferably scented. Lean back, calm down, because I've got another quickie for you, and it's only going to hurt for a minute. Um, I, <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't do that straight. Uh, I've... I do have something to share with you though. I, uh, my New Year's resolution I came up with two days ago. My New Year's resolution. Um, and that is to stop buying cheap ass knives like the one you see in front of you here today. Uh, buy cheap ass knives, which I've been buying for years. Um, generally talking about knives at least under 50 bucks. However, cheap ass knives can go over 50 bucks. Uh, it all just kind of depends on the features and whatnot. But you get what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and and aside from this one here, I've got one other cheap ass knife coming, and then I'm done. No more. I'm only gonna buy. You know, it's so tempting. You know, twenty, thirty, forty bucks. Eh, what's that? You know, go ahead, add to cart. You know, so I buy all these damn cheap ass knives. I get a little bit of a thrill when I open them up, play with them, and then they get thrown somewhere, and I don't care about them. They're you know, I can't resell them. Uh, they're not good users. Um, I usually try to EDC them, just so I said I, so I can say I did. But they're pretty much usually worthless. Um, and that's exactly what we have here. This is a Boker Magnum Bulldog. The reason why I bought this Boker Magnum, let me uh, let me fix the light here. There we go. The reason why I bought this Boker Magnum Bulldog is because it looks kind of cool. It's kind of, you know, like I mentioned in my last Boker video, Strider-esque. I think they're trying to rip off, I don't know if you'd say rip off, but emulate uh, Strider. Namely three points. We have the angles, you know, angular design. Um, of course, not quite as much as a Strider, but, I mean, imagine that. It's very similar. Main thing, though, is you got the you know the strider oval opening thing here you've got super thick blade and this really big jimping that strider likes to use um, the pivots also seem a little larger than what you'd expect which strider is known for so boker for some reason is feeling like they need to kind of emulate uh... strider uh, a few specs on this we've, we're rocking we, we're thunder and lightning lightning a three and a quarter inch bead blasted 440 stainless wow I can't believe I bought a knife that was plain 440 I'm assuming that this is 440A uh, because they go up from A to B to C with pretty steep increments so if somebody uses B or C they're gonna want you to know about it so I'm assuming this is A uh, so that's pretty cheap steel eh, but whatever uh, Super thick, it's not going to break on you. I bet it holds an edge like bullshit. So that's what we've got going on there. We've got a hefty 6.2 ounces. It's pretty heavy, mainly the blade. As you'll see, one of the complaints I have is the liners are kind of thin. I'd rather go thicker liners, maybe skeletonized. So that means a pretty thin locking tab here, if you can see that. However, it does seat in very well, and the blade locks up tighter than I expected. It's got a little tiny bit of play, but not too bad. Um, you've got an itty bitty little tiny lanyard hole for little baby little baby lanyards, not mom and papa lanyards. You've got uh, just your standard clip, uh, three screws, which is nice. However, you can't you can't move this, so it's just tip up, tip up carry. Um, what I'd like to do is read you the glorious description provided by Boker. This Boker Magnum knife has a solid feel. The bead blast finish 440 stainless blade with the plain edge is 1 8 inch thick at the spine. Wow, they almost make it sound cool, but uh, aside from the shitty steel and the fact that uh, it feels kinda solid, not super solid. It's alright. It looks cool. I, I love that blade shape. Absolutely, I would pay couple hundred bucks if this was a S30V made by a nicer company. Could you imagine that? This blade with the titanium slab on the back frame lock. 
That'd be sexy. That'd be super sexy. But unfortunately, it's not. It's just a cheap ass poker. Oh, this is about 20 bucks to my door. Which, you know, like I said, why I bought it. Because I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. It's only 20 bucks. I mean, what the hell? You know, all this 20 bucks adds up. And with all the cheap knives I've bought over the years, I could buy some a couple of sweet ass ones that I'd be really proud of. But uh, I'm a sucker for cheap knives. Not all the time. Just a lot of the time. So that's it. I don't know. It's not bad. If you're going to buy a $20 knife, uh, I would recommend this knife. Uh, I've bought way worse $20 knives. And, you know, I've bought pieces of shit for $18, $16. Bucks. Um, and this is not a piece of shit. It's not a good knife. It's not anything spectacular quality-wise. But I've seen way, way, way worse. Look at that. Pretty well, well centered. Not terrible. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, if you're just getting into knives, you don't have a lot of money. Uh, that's why I do these reviews on the cheap knives. You hear me bashing them, but, you know, it wasn't too long ago that I was totally stoked to get a knife like this. And I would have thought this was the coolest thing ever. Uh, so I don't want to discourage you by my bashing of cheaper knives. Uh, with cheap knives, you just need to be diligent and look a little harder. Uh, because you could buy some real crap for 20 bucks, or you could buy this, and this isn't, it's not terrible for $20. You know, if this is like your first EDC, or even if you just want a cheap blade to knock around or whatever. And uh, I'm talking way too much. This is supposed to be a quickie video. Uh, so I'm going to end it right now. Catch you guys later. Bye.